Okay, so again, we're given um, two congruent triangles. This is one of the steps for finding the measure of angle DBC. Okay, so where is angle DBC located? Okay, so go ahead and trace. I like to trace D to B out to C. Again, wherever the middle letter in your angle name is, that's where the angle is located at. It's right here at B. So here is the angle that we are trying to find the measure of. Now this is going to take a couple of steps. We know that this angle is 90. We don't know the exact number for this one. We know it's x plus 12, but at this point we don't know what x is. And we know this other angle here in this triangle is 3x plus 9. So the first thing we're going to have to figure out is what's the value of x. Once we know the value of x, we can substitute it back in here to find the measure of this angle. And once we know the measure of this angle and this angle, we know together these three should add to be 180. So we can solve and find the measure of angle DBC. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and get started. First, again, we have to set up some equation and solve for x. A lot of people might want to set these two equal to each other, but notice they're not corresponding angles. This one corresponds to the square corner, the right angle, and this one corresponds to the more pointy angle. But we do know that this is a right angle here. What's the measure of a right angle? Well, its measure is 90. So the first thing we're going to do is set up an equation to solve for x. That equation would be that 3x plus 9 has to equal 90, again, because it's that right angle. I'm going to solve for x, so I would subtract 9 from both sides, and I get 3x equals 81. Divide both sides by 3. And I get that x is equal to 27. Okay, so that's my first step, was to set up the equation that 3x plus 9 equals 90 and solve to get my value of x. x is 27. Okay, well if x is 27, now I want to substitute that into angle C here to find out what its value is. Okay, so we substitute 27 in to this value here. Um, it's x plus 12 if we replace the x with 27 because we know that now that's what x is equal to. We get that 27 plus 12 is 39. So the actual measure of this angle is 39 degrees. We know this angle is 90 degrees and we can use that to find our angle B here. Angle DBC. How do we know that? Well, we know that all three angles in a triangle add to be 180. So we have that angle DBC that we don't know the value of, plus our 90 degree angle, plus our 39 degree angle, together should be 180. I combine my like terms to solve this. Thirty-nine plus ninety is one hundred and twenty-nine. Okay, so how many degrees are left for angle DBC if one hundred and twenty-nine are already taken? Well, I subtract one twenty-nine from both sides, and I get that angle DBC is equal to fifty-one degrees. Okay, and I have found it. Now, what were the steps? First, I set 3x plus 9 equal to 90, because I knew this was a right angle, and solved to find the value of x. Then I substituted my value of x in to angle BCD to find out what its measure was, and I found its measure was 39 degrees. Finally, I used the 39 degree angle and the 90 degree angle together with the angle that I was trying to find. They were in a triangle together, so I knew they added to equal 180, I solved that equation and found the measure of the angle DBC was 51 degrees. Alright, here's one given the information on the diagram. 